Every late afternoon, the town of Mawa in central Kenya buzzes with activity as the card harvest arrives. For decades, over half a million people here have lived by the rhythms of cart, a mildly narcotic native shrub also known as Mira. Kenya last week announced exports of the crop to Somalia would resume after two years. Consumption will mean everything for us. Uh, uh, our, our families have been devastated by this, this uh, standoff. Uh, uh, we cannot, like we say, uh, everything has become very, very difficult. From, uh, from the bottom, who is the farmer, to everybody that is involved in the trade. Every day, young Mira shoots, instantly identifiable by their red stems, are bundled and wrapped in banana leaves, packed in bags and loaded onto pickup trucks. It is then ferried to consumers, earning farmers tens of thousands of dollars. At peak, it would be something like 16 million Kenya shillings per day. Uh, some other times it's, uh, it averages 10 or thereabout. That has been going to waste uh, since uh, 2020 March when we got into this problem. Cut grower David Mochoka is among those desperate to see the resumption of air links to Mogadishu. The ban on exports saw his earnings plunge, forcing him to venture into dairy farming to pay the bills. We used to export to Somalia and London. London went into lockdown and this affected us. After a while, Somalia was also locked, and this greatly affected us. Somalia has been a crucial export market for Kenyan card traders ever since the Netherlands and Britain imposed a ban in 2012.